a medium touchdown. I could... Uh, I could technically do that. I think I'm going to pass, though. I could technically maybe do that, though. It's a little bit tempting to send out the, um, the Comron just to, like, scout out and see what all's going out there, going on out there, and maybe score a few more points from shooting some dudes down. I think we pass, so I think we take it easy, like, for the rest of the month. Um, that mission was, like, holy shit. Gauss Rifle Clip Productions complete so we can continue work on the More, which... Yeah, one day, 11 hours, that'll be all right. For some reason, I was thinking it was going to take really long because um, manufacturing would have to restart on it. Don't don't think that's the case, though. Very small, very deep. Um. Yeah, let, let's shoot that down. Well, I'm like up here. Fuck, that thing's really uh, it's really moving. Two thousand speed going southwest. That thing is hauling it. Never mind. I think maybe just like return home. Or can we head him off down here? Ah, okay, there we go. He's kind of sort of turning back. He's not a fighter craft. He doesn't have a detection radius, so we're generally okay. He's slowed down significantly. He's gonna send like a fighter craft out, aren't you? Alright, just, just return to base. Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck it, he got away. He's in a safe zone. Ah, I don't want to risk a fighter coming out. I have a hard time knowing if they've got a fighter or not, and I don't really feel like guessing it. And there's another medium going on over there. They're doing a bunch of resource raiding and stuff like that. The magnetic array is finished up, finally. First application of alien magnetic navigation technology. The device can be installed into the cannon slot on our interceptors and improves aim, 10% accuracy and detection, 150 km range, 20% chance, but decreases craft speed, max speed minus 50. Okay. So the idea with two cannon slots on the Comorant may have been to give you a bit of a better chance using the Comrade for scouting. Or just to generally improve accuracy, plus 10% accuracy. That makes a pretty big difference, considering like the, the damage and the reload time and all that kind of stuff going on with this, like that's... That's pretty big. The Aquaplastic can with 10% more accuracy with a 2 second reload speed, that's pretty significant, really. Decreases craft speed. Max speed minus 50. Now, one second. What can I make that? What's that cost? This is not at all what I thought it was. Yeah, two magnev. Huh. Uh. XCOM craft and weapons. The Triton. Max speed 740. Okay. So, minus 50 speed really isn't that much. Like, at, at all. Alright. I think I want to make one of those. I will queue it up. Because I can always put that on the cannon slot of the, uh, of the Moray. You know? Because we tend to use torpedoes and stuff like that anyway. Um, bringing him, bringing them in so close that we end up using a cannon with a moray. That's like danger close. I don't know what I'm fighting, but we shouldn't be that close. Ideally, ideally we get it down before then. Downside being the alien strike craft that just kind of beeline towards you really, really quickly. For those, the magnetic array is not great. Um, but the increased accuracy with the torpedo. I don't know. I think it might be worth it. I think it might be worth it. I'm thinking we keep it. If there are fighter craft, we can see about sending in the Comrade to try to intercept that and then focus on the main target with the More and that accuracy boost for the torpedoes. If we were to go with... 
Um, I mean, there's some new stuff that we can get, but if we were to go with the Kraken, that's 80%, that's 10% more accuracy on that. I'm assuming it's additive to bring that up to 90% accuracy uh, versus 88, even though 88% is also it's pretty close. Uh, quite good. Dolphin, bring you up to also about 80%. Squall, bring you up to 60%. It's enough to guarantee a deep bomb hits. <laughs> if, uh, <laughs> if, if you got a more going, and hear me out now, you're dual wielding the deep bombs, okay? You got two deep bomb slots on. You can guarantee the hit. 100 damage. 8 kilometer range, you gotta, you gotta be able to touch them. But at least you can hit them. It's guaranteed damage. And the 150 kilometer range, I'm not quite sure exactly how much that is. Because, like, these are 65 kilometer range, but it's really difficult to know what that actually means. Because the dogfight screen doesn't really correlate to the Geoscape screen at all. What if I were to look at the facilities? Wide array sonar? 4,700 kilometers. I mean, we don't necessarily need to craft with that kind of detection radii. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll probably go for. Whoa, hi. We'll probably go for that. That's terrifying. Having him just like fly real close to my base like that suddenly. Oh God! Touchdown. Okay, it's touchdown, guys. It's only touchdown. Fuck. <laughs> ah, I think the very smalls are the ones that's got out your base, right? Very small, or very large touchdown. Out there. Would be great to handle that. Send out the Cormorant to take out one of their scout ships. Can the Triton get over there in time? I need to, like, rearm the Triton anyway. Only six dudes on it, that ain't right. We can maybe see about going for it. Okay, this is kind of like max distance for the Comorant, so we'll see how that goes. Send out the Triton to the touchdown site. It's to potentially prevent an alien base, so I'm quite interested in at least going for it. The Moray is also complete. We'll switch over to the Magnetic Array. Just make one. Seven hours, pretty good. Um... Yeah, uh, we have, okay, that's the cannon slot there. I guess for now the Kraken and Ajax, and then we'll put on the accuracy cannon afterwards. The other torpedo, the hybrid torpedoes, yeah, that's what I wanted. I think we do that one next. Thermal shock launcher going goodly. So that's nice. And I never assigned research here. That's a mistake. Thankfully, time's going pretty slowly right now, so it's not the hugest issue. We can do the shard weapons, sonic technology, up out with a thermal shock launcher. I think, yeah, thermal shock launcher. Just help that out. We'll just pound the ever loving out of it. Just go right down the line, disrupt their pulse launchers afterwards, and, and all that. Okay, yeah, that's gone. I think they definitely... Trident 1, you can head back to base. Comrant, do a little bit of patrol. You have, like, basically no fuel, but... Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm sure they set up a base there. Magnetic Array at Asia is done. So, the, the ammo we're good on. I need more Kraken torpedoes, which is generally okay. I'll make like four, just a bit. We've also got some more armor to repair, I think. Yeah, two plastic armors and an exosuit. I think we have to do that probably first. 
Large touchdown. Okay, that's a supply ship. That's fine. There's stuff transferred to Asia so I could make room to purchase some grenades that should also be arriving soon-ish. I'm pretty sure this is going to be a negative month unless we get another nice easy mission to do. The, uh, the barge helps a bunch, but there's a lot of alien activity going on out there. Like, a lot of it. Okay, there's the people. Alright. Let me check the graphs. See where we're at. Yeah, we're minus three to four. It's close. It's really close. If we do, like, another mission and do well with it, uh, that'll actually put us positive. Which would be great, because then that means that next month I could still just, like, take it easy. Because I don't know if we'll have the equipment to do the base next month or not. Probably. I could probably go for it. With the stun launcher and disruptor pulse launcher, I think we could go for it. I wouldn't have sonic weaponry. Or would I? I don't know. Maybe I could manage it with the amount of scientists that I've got. And then there's the this lab finishing up in 11 days. I don't know. Maybe. I'd like to do that base, though. Next month would be great for it. Land sub-71 and enters up with Comron to one. There's another supply ship that landed, like, kind of sorted during the day. Would very much like to go for it. Evasive maneuvers, let's go. Yeah! Oh, fuck, it's so close, man. So close, every time. Yeah, return to base, that's fine. We're not gonna need an escort out of there. Oh, just made it. Okay, here we go! Uh, a daytime supply raid. These are always good, right? ADS? Ew, butters. Ew, no. I mean, alien ADS, yeah, sure, I guess, but... Ew. Icky. Um... Probably just, probably just the rifle butters. Oh, god, Ove also. Ugh. Everybody with the rifle except Ezgeranos, who has 101 accuracy, so I gave you the gal's auto gun. Looking okay. How much do I trust it? Do we have anybody with the proper armor? Well, I say proper armor. The flying stuff, though. Andrew, get you up there. All right, landing zone seems clear. We're... Oh. Uh, generally next to their ship. It's Aquatoids. You might have enough for a quick snapshot. And then down, and back in. Perfect. No problem. Alright, I'll call that a turn. We got one dead. Always good to get a kill, uh, first thing when we land. Oh, shit. <laughs> Pissed him off. Looks like we're okay, though. Snapshot again, 61%. Fucking another headshot, Andrew. You monster. Unfortunately, you're stuck up there now, though, because I got you up pretty high. Good. Jason. Aim shot, 35%. Not great. Bottom map over there. I never checked where we were. Yeah, sort of in the middle. A little bit in the middle. That's fine. Um, I step you up a little bit. Yeah, you can't see him if you step up a little bit. 60% aim shot, living with just 10 time units. Mm, might have to go for grenade. 68% with Ove right in the chin. Okay. Well done. Human shield. It's <laughs> gonna keep running, actually. <laughs> Sorry, Ove. <laughs> uh, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll throw a die grenade out there. Ah, there it is. There you go.
Ooh, another shard gun shooting at Azuranos. Another mind control attempt on Andrew, who's gone berserk. Oh, God. Really, man? Can you maybe hit the alien that's out there somewhere? Somebody's got a shard weapon. No? Okay. Fuck. Now there you are. 35% auto shots. Not bad with that gun. And you can't quite see him because of all the smoke. Nah. There's just 19% snapshot, but now you don't actually have vision of it. So, ET. Aim shot, 30%. Ooh. Surprising, ET. Thank you very much. Well done. And somebody to help scout up above then, since Andrew's a bit busy. Still looks okay. Run through the smoke. Azuranos begin ascending. With eventually also little me. I don't have as many hard suits on as I thought I had. Ah oh well. Something like that, right? Azurano says it's clear up here. I'm generally inclined to believe you. But I'm gonna wait for backup first before we really do anything, especially since you've only got the auto gun. And Andrew. Nothing personal. Unload your weapon. Why do you want to fly up instead of just across? I don't understand. What's in the way going just straight across on this level? Hmm. Sandstorm in front of the ship. Looking clear, there is the edge right there. I suppose we're along an edge at least. We're not like in the dead fucking center. So I, I guess that's okay. We are along an edge. Get a few people positioned for maybe some reaction fire. E.T. up on the cool person spot, kneeling down. Rogue, please don't shoot anybody. But you'll be supporting Sandstoma. Betor, hang tight near the front door. Butters, hit the wall. We get Pedro Terzero out. And you know him, you love him. It's Axe, also heading down for the breaching team. Will he be able to help? Honestly, depends on the supply ship map. The one where there's like that, that balcony when you walk in straight away uh, and then the gap and then the elevator area that you might be able to help out with that. It might not be so bad for him because there's not a whole lot of places for aliens to be as soon as you walk in like they kind of have to be around the corner or nowhere near you. I'm quite nervous about what all might be out there still. Wow, this is actually... This is, this is basically the map here. That ain't so bad. It's a bit small. So, I'm a little bit less afraid of what might be out there, in fact. We'll get Sandstoma to scout out. Rogue as well. E.T. will shimmy you around to a slightly more useful position on top. Jason, head up as well. Ove, take the ship. Pedro hit zero. Hit the wall and follow this around back. Up out Ove a little. And we got, was it Betor, Pedro, and Axe? No. Betor, Butters, and Axe. Alright. Sure. How about the one up here? Looking fine. Looking very fine. I think... I think we come down and we approach this level from this side. A little bit away from this. So then that way, 
we're behind, so they have to completely 180. So the hope is that they move a little bit before turning for the stairs and then seeing that we're there. Rather than simply just being there as soon as they uh, leave the ship, you know? Fuck, that didn't take long. Andrew, just like one pop. And little me going berserk. I think you're... Whoa, shooting the wall. Look out, E.T. Oh, Jesus. Oh, fucking hell. Ooh. Okay. Uh. Ow. Yeah, you reloaded. Okay. Not terribly surprised. Gonna, uh, we're gonna be over here kneeling. Fuck, okay, we gotta like, we gotta get going here. We need to get in. Butters, axe, storm the front, let's go, let's go, let's go. Hit him hard, hit him fast, they won't expect it, right? They're a little totally expected. Uh, everybody else? Fucking E.T., dive off the ship? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that was way close. Outdoors is seemingly... Ooh. Oh yeah, that was... Uh, you saw Andrew. We're, we're not going to be shooting at Andrew. Um, Right, yeah. Okay, sure. And lulled me when preserved. So you're like... You're super able to just be lit up by Andrew. That's no good. But everybody else is generally cleared out. And your wounds are... Two. Two fatal wounds. Okay. And you're in a position... Cannot do any reaction fire. I don't know about this. That's a bad mind control to have. Axe is under molecular control now. Shit. Do they not get all of their timing notes back after a mind control? Because I feel like he probably should have just, like, chainsawed me, you know? Fucking really, Butters? Really? Look at how many of them are in there. Alright, Bettor. Phenomenal double kill. Well done. Ooh, watch out for Axe. This is a, another new layout. Man, I love these layouts. Like, I can't get over how awesome this is to have different layouts for ships like this, because you do these fucking things so often. It's so revitalizing. Oh, hello. Could you hide not, like, way in the corner? LV kneeling aim shot, 78, 39%. Oh, and the long line of fire. Standing, 34? Yeah, okay. Uh, Rogue could maybe do a bit of threading. Nah, Coral in the way. He could... Uh... You can't really get back up this wing, but turn like that? Can you shoot down? Kinda sort of a little bit. Alright, I think we gotta go for a grenade type thing. Rogue, what's your strength? 50. That ain't bad. When you throw like that to Rogue, it is pretty bad. Okay, though he's got time minutes to uh, move if he needs to, but... I don't, I don't know if that'll be okay, actually. The fine attempt. Don't think it's fine enough, though. Jason, run back a little. Kneel. And face the fire. So we got... Is Axe back? No. No, this is still that turn. Okay, ooh. Fine. Um, anybody I'm forgetting? Oh yeah, Pedro, shit. I am so sorry, Pedro. 55 strength? Seven 
17 time units. What an absolute ludge. Pedro Terzero. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, and Andrew's back. Right, we got the people up here still. Okay. Sure. Ugh, man, you reloaded, like, really oddly. There. If you get mind-controlled, all you can really do is doctor somebody. Axe being there is pretty scary. That is everybody. Double grenade took him out. Well done. No mind control attempts. Okay, yeah. So yeah, Axe didn't actually get to go. Good, good. The turnover... It, the turnover gets a little bit strange with mind control. I never exactly know. Like, I think it used to be that the guy gets mind controlled on the alien's turn. Your turn starts, and he's just there. He's okay to be around though, he has no time unit still. Not until the alien's next turn? Or am I am I a bit wrong about that? It just it seems like they get like a, a time unit injection or so, the way it currently is. Okay, no doors there. Alright. Drop that. Put it down. <laughs> we'll get you in there. We'll just like have you maybe drop and pick up your gun or something like whoops. Drop and pick up your gun or something like that. Okay. And Pedro. Continue scouting around. Looking generally good. Looking generally good. So just what's left inside the ship. Which Butters and Bator, Octoid Soldier panicking, Butters and Bator are doing, so far, a pretty good job clearing it out. Oh yeah, little me. We're getting about all sorts of people. Your gun? is on the lip there is no lip where's your gun <laughs> it's fine A little window there like a really little window thing looks tiny okay that back Neil step back Neil so anybody down there probably can't see you I'd like to be another tile away from the floor but it is what it is. Yeah, there is there is a guy down there. Can't quite shoot him yet. He's a man. What a weird angle. He is a couple staircases away though. I guess step back. Neil, turn. Oh, oh! What a reaction shot. I think that was Bator. Well done. There's another one with a drill hanging out in here. Um, please don't blow everything up. Please don't blow everything up. Fucking hell, Azuron. Did you hit him at all? Not at all. 
All that was a miss. Oh, Azuranos. And now he can probably just go nuts with a drill. I thought for sure you'd kill him. I didn't want to go auto shot because I didn't want to melt the entire room, but uh, I guess you had different plans, huh? Ah, oh, man. Yeah, bet we're a good shot. Well, let's let's head down and get into it here. Maybe if we kill enough of them, the drill guy will panic. And he won't saw a dude in half. I think I keep the two of you there. Like, that was great what Betuer did just then. That was awesome. Really worried about Azranos. Oh, okay. Ne never mind. I guess we're okay. Generally change position slightly, rotate around, see if we can get a better angle on stuff. Upstairs, we're thinking is clear. Somebody could be wrapping around behind. Not hugely likely. I think we got to go all the way down. One of those doors down on that lowest level. There he is. Good shot. Nice reaction. Took him out. Final alien. No deaths. 13 kills. 13 corpses. 18 artifacts. 4 ion beam uh, accelerators. 7 magnav. 10 cloning. 4 arrays. 182 plastics. 5 reanimation zones. 3 narrow interface components. And 60 ZR byte. Overall, 588 points. Excellent mission. That was very, very good. Couple rookies in there, so we get a little bit of stat outs for them pretty easily. Anything outstanding? Not really. A nice bit of stamina for E.T. and Butters. I guess four health for Butters, four time minutes for uh, Butters. That's, that's pretty good. I'll take that. And notable weapons... Not a whole lot. I mean, seven pulsers. I'll take that. I'll take that. We'll transfer off to USA, though. The, the pulsers, the sonic stuff. Keeping one for research, of course. The shard things as well. Same deal. I think just all the ZR bite. A couple heavy thermic lances they had, the aquatoid corpses they can keep. I think that spare ion beam and magnav, the alien cloning learning rays, reanimation zone. Probably take like most of these plastics as well. We're we're sort of at capacity though, so I think even if I take one plastic will be will be over. But I'll I'll keep a little bit of each. Plastics and ZR bite. The rest of it can go. 20,000. Oof. Alright, and Pedro Tetsero, grats on Ensign.